Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about evaluating functions. I'm going to evaluate each function. So, if I was given this function, p of a is equal to a to the third minus 5. And we want to find p of x minus 4. Well, since we want to find p of x minus 4, we need to uh, substitute every single x minus 4 for every single a. So we have p of x minus 4 here is equal to x minus 4 to the third power minus 5. So what I need to do now is simplify this. And since I have x minus 4 to the third power, I need to write this as x minus 4 times x minus 4 times x minus 4. So we have p of x minus 4 here is equal to x minus 4 times x minus 4 times x minus 4 minus 5. So now what I'm going to do is just to distribute uh, the first two together, really x minus 4 all squared. What is that? So we have p of x minus 4 here is equal to, as from our foils, and the same thing, x times x is x squared. x times a minus 4 is a minus 4x. Minus 4 times x is a minus 4x as well. And minus 4 times a minus 4 here is a positive 16. And that's going to be all multiplied by x minus 4 eventually, and then we have minus 5 sitting there on the way. Well, we can simplify this. Well, I like to do that. Do that. Minus 4x minus 4x is a minus 8x. So we have p of x minus 4 here is equal to x squared minus 8x plus 16. And we're times in that by x minus 4, and then we have minus 5 up there again. So now all parts of my first parenthesis are multiplied by all parts of my second parenthesis. So p of x minus 4 here is equal to, and it's kind of hard to show the arcs, but it might get a little confusing, x squared times x is x to the third, uh, x squared times a minus 4 is a minus 4x squared. So now we deal with the 8x or minus 8x. Minus 8x times x is a minus 8x squared. Okay. Then uh, we have the minus 8x times the 4, minus 4, so it's a positive. Negative times a negative is a positive. That's a positive 32x. So now we have the 16. Okay. So we multiply 16. 16 times the x here is a 16x. And 16 times the minus 4 is a minus 64. Okay, 16 times minus 4 is minus 64. We then bring down the minus 5. So at this point, we need to simplify by combining our like terms. So we have p of x minus 4 here is equal to x to the third minus, now we combine here, minus 4x squared and a minus 8x squared is a minus 12x squared. Okay, then we combine our like terms with the x's. Okay, 32x plus 16x is a 48, positive 48x. And then we have minus 64 minus 5 is a minus 69. So again, our final answer now here, can't simplify anymore, is p of x minus 4 is equal to x to the third minus 12x squared plus 48x minus 69. Okay, so let's double check that, make sure I'm good. And yes, we are. So let's recap. We're given p of a is equal to a to the third minus 5, and we want to find p of x minus 4. Every single time I see an a, I plug in an x minus 4. So I have p of x minus 4 is equal to x minus 4 all to the third power minus 5. x minus 4 to the third power is x minus 4 times itself three times. I then distribute it out x minus 4 times x minus 4 to get x squared minus 4x minus 4x plus 16. Simplify by combining the minus 4x together to get a minus 8x. Then I multiply that by x minus 4. All parts of my first parenthesis are multiplied by all parts of our second parenthesis. That gave me my x to the third minus 4x squared minus 8x squared plus 32x plus 16x minus 64. And the minus 5 has been brought down the whole time. So then I simplify by combining my like terms to get our final answer again of p of x minus 4 is equal to x to the third minus 12x squared plus 48x minus 69.